Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I hope you're all doing great. I'm just going to show you some of the books that I recently got. The first one is The Lost Soul. It's a recommendation by my sister. Um, I don't know anything about the author and the illustrator until my sister recommended this book and it's so beautiful. The illustrations inside, you can see all the textures from I think the colored pencils. If I'm not mistaken, the, the illustrator used colored pencils. And I love the transition from the black and white pages at the start of the book and then they eventually became more colorful in the end because that was um, the culmination of the story where the soul eventually caught up with his human and look at all these beautiful pages at the end all these vivid colors that seems to pop out of the book i eventually want to learn how to illustrate like this Next is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. I think everyone has heard of this book and I haven't read it yet. Next is The Power of Moon Chi. The reviews are not so good but I'm going to read this nevertheless. Next two books are by Neil Gaiman. This one is illustrated by Chris Riddell. I follow Chris Riddell on Instagram. I love his illustrations. And this is Neverwhere, another recommendation by my sister. She already uh, read this years ago and I just recently got it for myself. Look at all those line details and expression on each of Chris Riddle's characters and his illustrations are all amazing. Follow him on Instagram if you want. Next one is The Ocean at the End of the Lane. This is by Neil Kamen and illustrated by Elise, Elise Hurst. Um, this is the first time that I've heard of Elise Hurst. And as you can see, it's more of a charcoal -y illustration, more than um, rigid lines compared to Chris Riddell. I love the softness of the illustration. Compared to Chris Riddell, Elise Hurst's illustrations are more soft and less lines but still beautiful and of course my current read they both die at the end i just love this book if i can read this in one sitting i would but i don't want to finish it all in one sitting because i don't want to miss the characters by the way, this is by Adam Silvera and you should go read it. And other purchase, other recent purchases other than books, I have, I got puzzles from Miniso. And this one is what we're going to try today, the Faber Castell Soft Pastels. I haven't tried using soft pastels before. Um, I've used oil pastels when I was very, very, very young in elementary and this is the first time I'm using soft pastels, so let's try this. Join me as I try soft pastels for the first time. I'm going to use my Hobonichi cousin to swatch the pastels, but first let's have coffee with a dash of cinnamon. Always with a dash of cinnamon. vivid colors. I love that color in between the blue and green. Light teal color, I think. I got the 12 set. 
I think they have the 24 and 36 and more than 36 I guess. I'm just trying my very best not to make a mess because I didn't know that it would be this messy. I thought that when you color it in, there will be some chalk dust but not as much as this.
For the first try of using soft pastels, I like how these turned out. I love the softness of the illustrations, mostly because there are no hard lines and it just creates a dreamy illustration. That's it! I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and I'll see you on my next video!